Let's welcome Dr. Edmund, Medical Director of Soup Clinic, Assistant uh, Professor and Consultant in, in UCSI University to give us a lecture about the latest trendy of skin boosters. Let us welcome Dr. Edmund. Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Edmund. Today I'll be sharing with you some of the technology and uh, efficacy of the new generation skin booster. In my talk, I'll be covering three parts. First of all is the uh, general HA products. Second will be the types of HA used in the skin booster and the common uh, skin booster brand in the market. And of course, not forgetting the gener uh, new generation of skin booster by Hans Pharma. Now, a uh, study from Fring uh, and colleague reveals that attractiveness relative, uh, related positively for firm, healthy, radiant, and smooth skin texture. But with aging, comes with gradual decline of skin quality uh, due to intrinsic or extrinsic factor. And we do know that HA uh, reduce in generation as uh, we age. Therefore, substitution by hyaluronic acid by the means of intradermal injections is a well-established anti-aging procedure with proven and evidence-based and have a good uh, safety and efficacy. So there are two types of uh, HA products in the market. Of course, one is the HA fillers and also another one, the HA skin booster. HA fillers are used for, uh, to restore back the volume loss and also for augmentation, example, the nose or chin. But the HA uh, skin booster are generally used for regeneration. Now, with the rise of K-beauty into the mainstream cosmetic, has popularized many aesthetic treatments. However, the skin quality or the glowing skin is the main parameters to achieve the goal of elegance. Many consumers out there might be very familiar with the term baby skin, glass skin, or Chanel injection, but currently the latest one is the diamond field skin. But they are all referring to the skin booster treatment. Now, Basically, the HA skin or the skin booster treatment are classified into HA-based, cross-link HA, non-cross-link HA, HA-based and non-HA-based, and currently the new one is the semi-cross-link and double-capsule HA. Most of the time, you can see the, uh, the most common uh, skin booster. They are concentrated in HA or PDRN. Uh, however, the new uh, release uh, skin booster by Hans Pharma contain many other uh, ingredients, such as growth factor, peptides, amino acids, and also you can see this thermal sign E plus contain all the uh, uh, whitening properties, yeah, for as a thyroid kidney inhibitor. So these are just a short summary of just now what I mentioned, non-crosslink, crosslink, and semi-crosslink HA. One thing good about this uh, new technology, it contains semi-crosslink and double capsule. What it does, it slow down the reabsorption and therefore increase the longevity of the effects. And also they contain both macro and micro molecule, therefore it gives uh, uh, effects in both epidermis and dermal. Now, uh, this Diamond Field Forte and uh, Dermal Sign E Plus is uh, produced by Hans Pharma. Uh, this company uh, is the first bio company that has listed in the Korean uh, uh, stock market. And also this company, uh, manufacturing uh, facility is listed in US FDA and they contain three ISO certificates. The R&D team in the Hans Pharma company uh, did a study in vitro uh, for this diamond field forte in four parameters. First is the moisture, anti-inflammatory, uh, the collagen, and also the uh, healing effect. So you can see that the moisture can increase 240% uh, in just six days. Reduction of interleukin-6 and COX2 uh, up to 53%. In terms of uh, regeneration of collagen type one, you can see the increase by 195% while the healing rate increased by 78%. For 
Dermal Science E Plus, they did a study to check the melanin index. And from there, you can see that there's a reduction up to 59% for melanin index. So this one shows that they are, have a strong tyranidase inhibitor. Diamond Field Forte and Dermal uh, Science E Plus have different ingredients, which will be covered by Dr. Steve. And basically, uh, depends on indication, then you can choose which product is suitable for the client. Dermal Science E Plus is basically for, uh, to treat pigmentations and regeneration for Diamond Field Forte. Uh, for take home message, right, we have to understand the client's needs where we have to customize the treatment according to their indication. And we have a different type of HA that we mentioned before. So combination of treatment either with HA fillers and skin booster will enhance the results. So it depends on the patient indication, we, we prescribe the, the treatment. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, doctor. So is there any question from the floor? Maybe we can open up the questions to the floor. Any, anything you want to ask uh, Dr. Edmund? No, as usual. <laughs> okay, so maybe I have a question for doctor. So because of it, just now doctor has uh, shared about the diamond field and uh, the more e sign, uh, e sign, uh, the more sign E plus have the skin boosters, okay, have the collagen. So it can actually uh, skin up the booster, boost up the skin, and then uh, brightening. So is it uh, okay for the scar healing? Yeah. Okay, because uh, the stu clinical study shows that it improves the collagen production and also the wound healing, uh, is very suitable for uh, for treatment of scars. I think in later on the hands-on, I will show you how I do the scar treatment using substitution as well. Um, but normally I will do combination of fractional substitution and also this uh, diamond skill booster. Yeah. Okay, so thank you. Once again, thank you, Dr. Amben. Thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. So because of today is the time to learn and to share. So if you have any question, you may ask to, you may raise up and ask our doctors because of they are here to, to give you some uh, ideas and then also some share share on their expertise, okay? So once again, thank you again, Dr. Edmund. Thank you very much. So the coming up uh, lecture will be presented by Dr. Steve Chia, the founder and the medical director of Slick Clinic, MBBS, uh, AAAM, LCP certified aesthetic doctor to share with us the protocol of new generation skin boosters. Let us welcome Dr. Steve Chia. Thank you, Victor. Okay. Um, hi, good morning. My name is Steve. So today, I'm glad to be sharing with you guys uh, what I think is uh, a new uh, form of next generation skin booster. So throughout our, uh, my years of practice in aesthetic, right, we always focus on, I would say, one of the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, bread and butter of our main core business is actually to improve the skin quality for the patients. So every time I think when we are doing our consultations for the first time for our patient, of course our patient come in with a different kind of concern. But I think a full, um, full, very detailed kind of consultation should also always include for us to mention about the patient's skin quality. Because of course some of our patients, um, they are having you know pigmentary uh, disorder and, and whatnot, they are actually covering with the makeup, but then they come into the clinic asking for the teardrop filler or other form of filler. I think it's our job to also acknowledge and let them know um, one of the things that what uh, the, the services that we offer in our clinic actually, um, we have treatment to improve the skin, skin quality for the patient as well. So I think for products like um, Diamond Field Plus, I think it's very necessary. Um, uh, for us right now, because um, I know a lot of aesthetic clinic right now, we are using um, many kind of different machines, lasers, um, or maybe different kind of uh, facial related machine. So this is actually uh, for the last few years, I think what we observed the trend for a lot of uh, suppliers start 
bringing in a skin booster sort of treatment. So today I'm going to share with you how is it different from the other skin booster in the market and why you should also incorporate these two uh, products in your uh, services as well. So this is an overview of my slides today. So if you look at the, the problems that um, the Asian skin type always face, um, of course we are focusing in the Malaysian market right now. Most of the time we have patients coming in with dryness of the skin, open pores problem. I think if you ask 10 people, I think 9 to 10 even will have this problem. And of course, as we age, everyone will sooner or later also notice changes in the skin texture. Fine lines start to appear, and for those patients with the acne scarring, they are always looking for the, the new promising treatment that will help them to achieve better quality of the skin. And then another part due to the exposure of the UV, right? Then uh, pigments related issues like freckles, pigmentation, melasma. Every single day, we're actually dealing with all this, right? So, if you look at these two products, so Diamond Feel Forte is the one that looks like more, the, the packaging is a gold color, right? So this one deals more of this type of skin problems, the aging, the dryness, right? And then for pigmentations and dark spots, this is actually uh, will be treated by the Dermasign E+. Plus. Why? Because of the different ingredients that we find inside. So you can actually mix, mix and match based on your patient's presenting problems and you can make your own treatment regime, including whatever treatment that you have in the clinic. So I will also share how I actually combine a few treatments. So what are the ingredients? So if you look at the ingredient, right, S67 ingredient, eight very important core ingredient insights. So as I say, the diamond feel forte, uh, it comes in um, semi-cross-linking hyaluronic acids. So we see a lot of hyaluronic acid products, serum, or maybe um, your moisturizer, your injectable, your fillers. So this is a very common uh, component that we use. But the semi-cross-linking and the double encapsulation makes the products last longer in the skin. More... more um, uh, it takes more time for it to degrade in the skin, so the result will be much longer lasting. So this is a better quality kind of hyaluronic acid. So the healing and anti-inflammation, right? So you can see that there is a very special ingredient that you don't find in any other uh, skincare or injectables, which is the plant stem cell. The plant is a very special plant called Myrotamus. So actually, I found a few notes that I'm going to share with you guys about this plant. This plant is actually um, basically found in South Africa. So Myrotamus is also called as the resurrection plant. Why? Be because for the speed which apparently the dead leaf revives when the rain comes in the uh, southern part of the Africa. So they found it very interesting is during uh, the time where it is not in the uh, there's no rainfall and all that. So the plant looks like basically like a dead plant. But once the rainfall comes, it will start to flower. So the ingredient, uh, uh, I mean, the, this plant is actually uh, also used in other medical, uh, uh, um, ba basically medical uses, including uh, the treatment of cough, influenza, backache, and um, when smoke, it also helps with the symptom of depression and chest pain. I think it's used locally in South Africa as well as a healing property, right? So, uh, this is actually uh, a, an expensive uh, unique ingredient that's added into Diamond Field Forte. So, it also has PDRN. So, I think we are quite familiar because for the last few years, we've been using a lot of the PDRN, right? This is also a key component to basically regenerate and heal the skin and build collagen as well. So there's 21 amino acids, six growth factors, four peptides, and, and different type of vitamin and minerals added into all in this wow of five uh, cc. So the next one, the, the Masang E+, it 
also have 11 complex ingredients to help with the skin tone. Hydration, the same thing, we have double encapsulated semi-cross-linking hyaluronic acid and glutathione. This is a very common ingredient that we use uh, to basically have um, uh, anti-aging, antioxidant property. Gluta also have anti-melanogenic uh, property that helps to reduce pigmentation as well. So tranexamic acid, I think uh, for the past recent years, we've been using it a lot for problems like melasma, right? So uh, it is also added into uh, uh, the ingredient as well. So the last one is uh, AA2G. So AA2G is basically uh, ascorbic acid to glucoside. That means we all know that ascorbic acid is very effective, but then again, it's very hard to stabilize. So a lot of our skincare that contains vitamin C, right, might oxidize within a certain period of time. So it doesn't bring any kind of benefit uh, to the patient once it reaches to them. So there's one way. So it's first started uh, in Japan where they research more about ascorbic acid. They actually are the one that formulate this AA2G. They combine the glucose to the ascorbic acid. So with, with this combination, they find that um, it is more, uh, uh, it's not easily degraded by temperature, by the pH, or other mechanical kind of degradation. And when it's injected to the skin, or first actually used in cream or skincare, our body uh, have an enzyme called alpha-glucoside. So the alpha-glucoside will metabolize the glucose components, and then it will release this vitamin C into the skin to bring whitening, whitening benefit, pro-collagen benefit, uh, and all those now. Even lightening of pigmentations once it reacts to the body. So this is actually a, a, a very good uh, form of vitamin C. That's why I think this product, when you start to treat your patient, you notice that it works very quickly. So... The next slide, this is the, basically is the resurrection plant that I'm talking about just now. And then the key thing is the hyaluronic acid, which is different from a lot of other products in the industry. So you might notice that there are products that is non-cross-linked. So non-cross-linked products usually maybe last for a week or two. But from my experience with Diamond Field Forte, I see patients' hydration last for months. Okay, so, so the, the resurrection plant actually has a powerful anti-inflammatory activity and it's a bioactive substance where it actually uh, uh, basically they notice that uh, they, it's physiological active, it can uh, uh, promote cell divisions. And the third one is about the safety of this. Uh, it's the first level of EWG. So EWG, basically, there are these organizations in the US where um, they will submit uh, whatever ingredient in the skincare or, or food to them, and then they will check whether it contain any harmful material. So basically, this is like the topmost number one level of the safety already. So there's no basically telling you any kind of uh, harmful toxic substance inside, lah, not polluted. So I mentioned about just now uh, how AA2G is, is a better form of vitamin C. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so why do you want to use diamond field skin? Uh, for me, I think that because it's a combination of cocktails of active ingredients that will benefit multiple um, skin problems. I think when our patients come to our clinic, a lot of them have a mixed kind of issues. There are some open pores, hydration issues, sensitivity issues, and some light pigmentation. So the combination of these both actually treat most of the thing that you will find in the patients. Okay, another thing, if you compare to other brands in the market, I think this is one thing that will really surprise you because um, if you have experience using other injectable products, sometimes they are result, but why your patient are not signing up more packages with you because I think right now patients are um, they want product that works but at the same time it's not too painful they want the product that 
uh, you know, they are not very scared of doing repeatedly. Because all skin booster, uh, you, let's be honest, you have to do a repetition of treatment. It's not like one off. So if every time patients go to your clinic and then they feel so stressful about the pain, right, they will not continue this. So this is the big difference I find when I first inject this product to my patient. Basically, their feedback is there's not much pain, just with local application of topical numbing cream. Why it is less painful? I actually uh, go back and ask them what makes this product different from other. Why other other products in the market are so painful for the patient? The the keyword is basically the molecular size of the product. So, when the molecular size of a product is big, right? When you push through the skin, it creates the pain sensation. So, this is why. When you try this product on your patient, you'll be very surprised that oh, patients say that, wow, compared to the last treatment of other, other products, it's so painful. This is so much better. Of course, there are other skills and techniques that you will see we demonstrate today. Uh, even uh, uh, some technique doesn't produce any bruising. How, how we do it later, we will share it with you guys. So, one thing to note that because Dermasign E Plus still contain tranexamine acid, if you guys have used local injection of tranexamic acid intradermal to the skin, you know that it's very stinging, it's very pain, and it, co it causes irritation to the skin as well. So, from my experience, I did experience one patient that uh, after using dermasign, they have some residual redness that is there for two weeks, especially on the spot of the pigmentation where I inject more, but it will gradually go away as well. So, you have to still take note that certain patients still have the kind of reaction. So, we have tips how to reduce this kind of issue, we can actually mix the Dermasign E Plus together, make sure into the Dermasign uh, Feel Forte, and then dilute it, and then you do your injection at the same time. So this one is one of the tricks that we can you do. Okay, this slide, right, is a comparison of Diamond Feel and Dermasign E Plus with other uh, products in the market. Um, of course, I'm not here to tell you to which one is better than which one, now, but I think um, if you look at the ingredient list and look at how flexible the product is, every product has the pros and cons. So it's up to you how you want to combine it with the treatment in your clinic. I think uh, because every single aesthetic clinic runs uh, quite differently from one another, the machine that we use Everyone is different, right? So, I think just like for Diamond Feel Forte, uh, with this product, every doctor is using it with their own technique, with their own machine. And this product is very flexible. You can do it this way, you can do it that way, you can combine it with this product, you can combine it with that product. That's why I like the flexibility. You can always change to how it fits well into your practice. Okay, so of course, there are also a recommended protocol for this treatment. Four sessions to see the optimum results and two to three weekly injection. If your patient has some redness that you notice in two weeks, then you delay the treatment to the third week. That's why it is two to three weeks. And after you have done the four sessions, you can repeat every six months to maintain the results. Okay, so... Uh, you can see other skin booster as well. So what is the difference? So some is um, uh, cross-link HA. So semi-cross-link still has a certain advantage over cross-link uh, link HA because cross-link HA, you cannot inject too superficial. You will see how we do semi, uh, how do we use this uh, uh, semi-cross-link HA. We can actually inject in the intradermal layer. You want to go a little bit on the sub -cute, you can also. So it's very easy if you are not very used to injecting skin booster to try this product. So the other product you might need to inject into a certain depth. If you inject too superficial, it will cause lumpiness. So this one doesn't. Okay. So the downtime, if you ask me, is probably just like you know an hour or two only of some lump, and then it will dissolve away. Um, and you can see that what is the main benefit, it can increase collagen, elastin, hydration, skin texture, you can use a wound healing and basically I think brightening injectables is a, li a little bit more li limited in choice. So this is what uh, it has over the other product. Okay, 
no pain, all gain. This is, uh, I think, the main key thing about this injectable. So since we have these two products, right, how do we uh, sell it to the patient? So in my practice, I actually just sell four sessions of treatment to the patient. And I will decide for them whether this patient is more pigmentation, I will do which, which one more. If today the patient more of hydration, problem sensitivity, I don't need to use the mass sign E+. Plus. You can decide for yourself. Okay. The protocol, this is the recommended official protocol. You can use it as um, injection, like you when you are doing micro bolus, or you can do like uh, intradermal health injection uh, manually without any uh, using any device. You can even use uh, uh, like a multi needle in, uh, injectable or micro needle derma roller kind of injection if if you do not want to use injection. And then the third one, you can even use mesogun. So I think I, do not, uh, I don't want to go into so much detail about this um, because later we will show it during the demonstration phase. Basically the usual preparation and then um, get patient history and all and then from putting numb cream to the injection and aftercare. So if you're done like injection before, it's basically the same thing. No special uh, advice. Okay, so what about the Masai E Plus? The Masai E Plus, you can actually just inject it spot on every pigmentation, or you want to do overall brightening of the skin, you can do like the uh, injection that we use for the mask, uh, the, the Diamond Field Forte as well. So the same. Okay, for myself, my preferred method is using a mesogun injector. This is not compulsory, but if your clinic, you have mesogun. This is the technique I use that I can tell my patient, I can promise you 99.9% .9 no bruising. Lah. So I wouldn't say 100%, lah, nothing 100%, so I better say 99.9%. .9. So with this injection, I find that um, I can deliver the product all at the same level, at the same layer. Lah. And it's more even. As you can see, maybe the picture is a bit small. The dots are evenly distributed because this is still a machine uh, compared to if you're doing man manually. I know some doctors like to do uh, very hands-on. They like to do manually. But I think if you are... Uh, imagine if you, are, you have a busy, busy schedule, you have a next patient coming up. I think this one will quicken the whole process because every single injection delivers nine points. Nine pin. So for patient, if you are doing manually, you have to inject nine times as it, this is much quicker. Of course, the, you can c control the depth, you can control how much is, is uh, the size of each droplet. So if you're using for PRP, you adjust a little bit on the, the, how much the droplet or you're using other more viscous product, how you adjust. So I, I, I like machine like this. So I basically cover the whole face, including the forehead. The second method that I use is basically we can um, split the face into 10 points and basically you inject equally all over. You can use like 0.2 to 0.25 intradermally. This technique, I think it introduces less uh, chances of um, bruising and you only need 10 points and the product actually spread evenly across all the points to cover most part of the face. Sometimes I will keep a little bit of the product to, or to inject at the temple or the forehead as well. You can actually, uh, uh, even don't use 0 0.2, maybe for the chin area you use 0 0.1 because this, the chin area not a very obvious place where people look at it. Lah. So you can even split out and inject in the forehead as well. Okay, let's see if I can play the video. Okay, I, I don't know why the video is like that, but you, you can still watch. Right? So, I'm, I'm injecting actually uh, intradermally. You can go slightly deeper a little bit because sometimes if you write at the intradermal, you want to put 0.2 cc, it may be very painful. Uh, so, sometimes I just go slightly deeper a little bit. Don't worry, this product can actually travel deeper or travel more superficial. 
if you really stay on very strictly intradermal, right, uh, it's actually very, it, it will cause more pain uh, because you're injecting zero, almost 0 0.2. Yeah, but the product itself, it does not give the stinging feeling or the pain as compared to the other product in the market. Uh, yeah. So if I do slightly, uh, uh, slightly just deeper than intradermal, I would say that maybe it's more of a superficial kind of subcutaneous layer, right? Even I put 0.2, at the spot there, there's not much of pain. Okay, next. This is my protocol that I use based on the skin type. So from the get-go, if you have uh, those skin analyzer and you decide what are the problem area, then you can decide how you want to proceed with your treatment protocol, right? So as I say, all the protocol by every different doctor may be different. The one that they use in Korea also may be different. So you can actually mix and match and play with the product however you want. But I think the main thing is the amount of the solution. Uh, if, you, if you use less than the recommended, you might not get the result that, what, uh, that the rest of your colleagues are getting. Uh, so. Okay, I'll just show you a few of the before after. You can see uh, initially patient presents with uh, the typical aging skin and the dryness. You can see the skin texture is like not smooth, right? You can see fine lines everywhere. The surface also, it doesn't look um, uh, very well hydrated. So you can see after the injection, right? The skin is, everything overall is uh, more plump up. And we can also notice, even you can see here, okay, the, the the light with the light here, maybe you can't see so much, but um, there are even fine lines or even deep wrinkles around here. Uh, uh, at the NLF, you can see actually this part is so much smoother because it's sort of plump up the whole skin. And patient skin tone generally appear more healthy. And on the skin analyzer, okay, on skin analyzer, you can see the fine lines much reduced. I also noticed um, some lightening of the pigmentation. This one is strictly without laser, just using the, the Masai E+. Plus. But of course, in my setting, I will still combine with the laser treatment. So use all that you have in your, in your clinic to treat them. So another case, I'm just doing it without um, uh, laser, laser, but I just do injection and see how it responds to the pigmentation. Of course, I think the very obvious thing is, that you see is the pores finer, the fine lines gone already after the injection, but you can notice all pigmentation and the PIH secondary to the acne is lightened. Okay? So this patient has open pores problem and the skin a bit sensitive with PIH. So you can see after the injection, the skin more calm down, it's more hydrated and some of the PIH actually lightened already. The same patient, we zoom in, you can see that the open pause problem is very much reduced after the treatment. Okay, uh, we have the opportunity to do, myself, uh, I do treatment for uh, an editor of Icon Magazine, and she actually shared her uh, review of the treatment. So basically what she noticed is we, this is, her, uh, this is not her photo actually, let me see, uh, I think, I, I, Okay, this is actually the photo of the patient. She presented with very dry skin. This is the editor. So, and fine lines around the eyes, if you can notice, right? Mono treatment with um, diamond fill and also basically the Masai E+. Plus. So she noticed that there's improvement in skin hydration. The skin is smoother, pores are tighter, and she had reduction in overall redness of the skin. Pigmentation also improved. you can see as well all the redness and um, some of the pigmentation actually reduced over here. And mainly if you look at here, the dryness and the crappiness of the skin texture is very rough here. You can see this part is so much better. Okay, I'm almost done with presentation. This one is actually, I just added in last minute. So, I think I saw the patient two days ago in my clinic. I did only first session, I mean, 
she's still ongoing treatment for her. Lah. So she has melasma. I think melasma is a very common problem that we see in our patient. But melasma is a very complex disease where you have to take care of patient hydration um, at the same time, and then you want to lighten the pigmentations, uh, and then patient lifestyle, the skin care, you know, there's a lot of things about melasma. Uh, so you can see in two weeks' time after the first jab, you can see how much the melasma lightened already. I'm actually quite amazed with when I see the, the patient as well because the first time she came in, she complained so much of her melasma, but in just two weeks' time, it got lightened. I, I don't know from what I see, I think at least 50% or above. But you can see the skin texture improve, the pores and everything. So I actually like the, this product very much. Uh. I think this kind of quick result is kind of hard to get even with the laser or other kind of treatment. Why I think it works so well? Because I think it addresses a multiple things uh, uh, with the ingredient. You know, they have vitamin C inside, we have glutide inside, we have TXA inside, and then we have even hyaluronic acid. So it addresses a few things that can sh show the improvement. Okay, quickly, for other country, I just see how the other doctors are doing with this treatment. So in Korea, instead of using the machine, they are using manual injection. You can as well. Okay? So if you don't have a machine, you can do this. But this one maybe takes more time to do it. Lah, rather than be using machine. So the same thing, they are injecting this one on the spot at the problem area. They are doing um, meso injection manually. Also meso injection manually. So right after treatment, it looks like this. After 30 minutes, the blap starts to spread out already. After one day, actually, some residual redness. If I use the um, meso gun, I don't get this at all. I can, I, I can have almost, I would say, very minimal to zero downtime. Okay, this is uh, another doctor that combines laser with the injection with the one sign E plus for the pigmentation. Uh. Okay. Same thing. This uh, iris laser is a kill switch laser. Most of us have kill switch laser. The skin texture is much better now. Okay, Fraxel is a non ablative uh, resurfacing laser. So you can actually combine. I actually combine with my CO2 laser as well, which is ablative. Okay, laser and then plus resurfacing laser plus injection. Okay, another doctor actually, uh, you know, from the case, this patient have acne, sensitivity, redness, and dryness mainly, so you can do your own treatment protocol, which one you want to use. Okay, so this one, we, I think we go through during the demo, not, not now, it's a typical aftercare and before care. Okay, thank you, I end my presentation. Thank you, thank you, doctor. So, uh, maybe a quick question for doctor. So, how long would it take for the treatment for one session? Uh, depend on the technique that you use. Usually, mm. I still use a combination. Maybe I do laser first. Uh, depends on patient budget. Mm. Then maybe the treatment will take up maybe one to one and a half hour, including laser, including the injection because we have to put numb cream. But if we just do like mesogun, mesogun maybe less than 15 minutes. We can cover the whole face. Mm -hmm. The numbing cream before that, 15 minutes. Okay. So I think less than an hour for the whole thing. You can even put a mask or something behind uh, just to calm down the skin. So I can do the treatment during my lunch hour, right? You can do during your <laughs> lunch hour. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, doctor, for sharing. And then from, from his sharing, I found a very good point for me because of I pursue my beauty, but I scared of pain. Every time I went to Dr. Steve Chia's uh, clinic, I always tell him that I scared of pain, I scared of pain, and then I have a, a very long downtime. So uh, after the sharing, then I now found that uh, that's a product that I might uh, want to try <laughs> in the future. So because of a less downtime and also uh, less pain, okay? So next, uh, we have another case study and treatment experience sharing by our mentor, uh, mentor trainers. The first mentor trainer to share with us is LCP license holder and the founder of Ankun Clinic. So can't wait to hear her lecture. Let us welcome Dr. Siti Maria. Okay, good morning everyone. Um, now it's my turn to share 
with you my usage of the masang e just click here okay <laughs> okay this is the masang e uh, consists of glutathione transgenic acid and also aa to g this ingredient mainly for skin brightening and also skin hydration uh, we can use this for skin booster in our clinic so for recommended area we can treat for dark circle freckles pigmentation melasma skin redness in thin, uh, in thin skin and also overall for face and facial complexion okay in my center i most use uh, the mosan e compare uh, uh, forte okay in my center most of the case i will treat melasma patient in pigmentary disorder uh, in my small patient, usually I will offer them for PRP, other range of skin booster of this, this Dermasang E. Okay, why I choose uh, Dermasang E? I will explain to the patient. The melasma uh, occur because of the uh, melanocyte injured and produce more melanin. Okay, we know the content of Dermasang E is transgenic acid. Transgenic acid uh, the action is to inhibit the uh, plasminogen activity then it will inhibit the tyrosine activity and also later it will inhibit the um, melanin uh, production lah. so this how the transgenic uh, acid uh, work also transgenic acid also work in uh, inhibit the pigmentation caused by UV radiation in UV radiation uh, because of the sun exposure it will produce more keratinocyte. This keratinocyte also produce more plasminogen. So this is how the transgenic acid also work in uh, sun exposure uh, cause melasma. Other than that, I also use uh, this uh, dermasan E to treat uh, also or to reduce the appearance of the freckles. Uh, other than that, I also use this uh, dermasan E to treat uh, post-inflammatory disorder. After a laser procedure for freckles or uh, patient get PIH after CO2 laser and also can treat uh, PIH acne scar in the acne scar lah. Okay, for the patient selection, uh, I spend more time during patient consultation compared the treatment time. Because in melasma patient, we know their expectation is very high. Uh, they always go to this cleaning, other cleaning, and also they want our guarantee uh, for their melasma treatment. So during the consultation, I will ask few questions. First, how long does the melasma uh, in their face? The longer period they have the melasma or pigmentary disorder means it's poor prognosis. Second, I will ask about the lifestyle and also occupation. Is it uh, they have a long-standing uh, sun exposure or work under the exposed under the sun so we advise uh, to minimize the sun exposure uh, the longer period they exposed to the sun means the poor prognosis they have also we advise about the uh, sunblock uh, usage needs to apply every five hour uh, to prevent the future uh, worsening of the melasma uh, the third question I will ask about the genetic predisposing factor, also hormonal induced during pregnancy melasma. So this pre uh, genetic predisposing factor meaning the poor pregnancy they have lah. Also the third question, any history of trauma ties to the face, such as uh, using any bleaching agent before, or local skincare product that contain of um, hydroquinone or mercury. This hydroquinone and mercury usage can permanently damage to the melanocyte. So we know uh, what to explain to the patient and to correct the patient expectation. If they have uh, history before using especially local product that cause skin, uh, skin thinning, so we can explain to them that this uh, problem may need longer period to treat, may need uh, combination treatment, and the recur of the melasma also can happen. History of any ongoing treatment, uh, we can ask, uh, uh, okay, for the traumatic uh, procedure that can cause melasma, such as uh, post-laser, uh, 
uh, for example, patient uh, ongoing uh, treatment such as Dermapen or ongoing treatment such as um, CO2 laser. Uh, aggressive CO2 laser also can, uh, can get side effects such as um, PRH later will, uh, will um, dapat that, that melasma. So we ask patient to stop this. We ask patient to stop this treatment that will cause traumatize more to the face. History of skin allergy before, such as uh, glutathione, uh, because this uh, the masai content of glutathione. Some patient allergic to some sort of collagen. They said uh, before this I inject uh, some collagen in my face, so we have to uh, take care because um, this. Uh, the Masai also contain of uh, glutathione, so we have uh, if we ask patient if they have allergic to after this treatment, come back to our clinic and we give uh, oral antihistamine or steroid. Also, any history uh, allergic to numb cream before, because uh, during this procedure also we have to apply the numb cream. And this patient expectation, we have to spend more time during to explain patient expectation. We have to correct the patient expectation. Uh, we can explain to them the prognosis of the skin condition. Melasma usually they have for long, long time, so we can explain that uh, this treatment will take few session, many few or many session. Uh, also, we can uh, combine treatment to the patient. Okay, consider combination treatment such as laser. In freckles, usually I will do uh, uh, laser for freckles first. Later, I will combine with the masang E. Microdermabrasion or any facial uh, because to remove the dead cell or keratinocyte uh, under this, uh, uh, to improve the melasma. Skin care, I will advise patient to use uh, sunblock, apply every five hour. And also, uh, patient have to avoid uh, skin care that uh, contain of uh, hydroquinone or any bleaching agent. Patient can use uh, moisturizer contain of hydronic acid. Other than that, patient also can consider oral supplement can consider oral sunblock to improve or to protect more the skin. Pigmentation cream such as Triluma, any any cream that consists of hydroquinone or uh, azelaic acid or um, uh, glycolic acid also we can uh, consider. Okay, I will find patient more on patient consultation. Explain the prognosis of the skin problem. Consider combination treatment. Correct the patient expectation. We take the consent and also take a before picture and make plan for follow up. Usually I will follow up patient around two weeks or one month duration. Okay, for the preparation to do this treatment, usually uh, I use this 30 gauze uh, needle uh, to inject to patient, 27 gauze to shrink up uh, the masang E from the bottle. This the masang E uh, consists of 3 ml solution. So I use 3 syringe of uh, 1 ml. Okay, this is how I prepare. Okay, three change of the masang E. I'm using the 30 gauze uh, needle to inject to skin. Okay, I use, uh, I prefer to use manual injection. Uh, for the injection, I will focus more at the pigmentation problem. I inject superficial uh, into the epidermis layer. The depth around uh, 0 0.2 mm and I inject bolus around 0 0.2 cc every injection site. I will focus more at the pigmentation problem. Later, I will inject to the chin area, nose area and also to the forehead. Usually, I will um, use half face uh, 1.5 mil and the other face 1.5 mil. Okay, the balance I will inject to the forehead. 
if there's no pigmentation problem over the forehead, I just uh, inject few few points only. Okay, this is my uh, testimony. This patient have melasma. You can see here melasma and also skin dullness. So this patient I combine with facial. Uh, the Masang E, I use uh, three sessions, uh, two weeks interval. I combine with aqua facial. Aqua facial, in my setting, I use uh, mini aqua mini. Uh, that uh, have contain of AHA and MBHA solution to remove the dead cell and remove the keratinocyte and also the last solution have the hydronic acid to give hydration to the patient. After this facial, uh, we apply the numb cream and we inject the Demersang E. This uh, testimony after three sessions of Demersang E and also facial. We can see here improve the melasma and the skin complexion is more brightening. If you can see, the pore size also become better. Okay, this is melasma. Uh, I, I also, this one, I uh, combination with uh, chemical peeling. First, I do chemical peeling with TCA. After one month, I, uh, we do the Demersang E. Uh, one month interval. This one after the three session. You can see here improve the melasma, the pore size, and also the other skin complexion. At the chin area also become better. This one also melasma, long-standing melasma. Uh, this after two sessions of the Masang E. And also I prescribe her trilumal cream during the first visit. The trilumal cream, uh, she use uh, every night. Okay, you can see here, melasma improve. The skin texture around the cheek area also improve. Okay, this one freckles or solar, lenti solar lentigens. I did laser uh, to her one session. Uh, laser using uh, 52 nanometer. After one session, she come back. Uh, and also, she have uh, some spot of PIH post laser. So I advise her to use um, uh, to inject the Mersang E to improve the PIH and also to improve the skin complexion. So we can see here one month after the Mersang E and two months after the laser, we can see the uh, we can see here the skin complexion around the forehead. The forehead we didn't laser because there is no freckles here. Skin brightening, the nose area and also the chin area. The uh, solar lentigens also improve after the laser, and the skin complexion around this, and also PIH also improve here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Maria. Thank you. Uh, any questions from the floor? No. <laughs> Doctor said no, no. But I have a question for you. Okay. So normally how uh how many sessions it will take for the treatment? Uh how many okay, depends on patient mm. case. Uh in in my setting lah, uh, usually the most case is melasma and also post laser treatment. I will suggest for this dermosign E. For melasma patient, Usually, I will advise them for combination treatment first mm -hmm. and also suggest for the Mersang E. The benefit of the Mersang E compared to the other skin booster is the content of the ingredient of uh, transgenomic acid which mm. attack the pathway of the melanin production and also glutathione for skin brightening and also for skin hydration. So, I will combine uh, this the Mersang E usually uh, three or five session. Usually, you can see my uh, testimony. Uh, after one session, also they can get the better skin, uh, uh, better, better, better effect. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, I will ask them uh, one month interval. For laser, also for uh, solar lentigens or freckles, I will ask them to combine. First, we do laser. Second, we do the skin booster, the masai. Then, then later we do laser again. Mm. Uh, so they will. 
uh, use the uh, protocol lah for my for my practice. Okay, so this is also how you manage the patient uh, expectation when you yes, design uh, the treatment plan for them. Yeah, during the first consultation, I already explained the flow, the follow up, mm. how. Uh, the side effect, some side effect will occur after laser. PIH then will settle the PIH with the sign E. Mm. Uh, like that. Okay. Thank okay. you once again. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, Doctor Steve. We also can open questions to all the other VIPs and. Hi, Doctor City. Hi. Yeah, your before after very impressive. Uh, I want to ask, how do you convince patient? that are not open for injectables to accept a product like a skin booster or even a derma sign. Do you face a problem trying to uh, convince patients like, oh, I don't want to do injection, I don't want like medication in my face? Hmm. Okay, how to go? <laughs> this is what a lot of patients uh, come to our clinic like that. Lah. Okay, usually this melasma patient, they already go to other clinic or other spa before. So they will tell us that, uh, can you uh, confirm with your treatment, I spend the money, then this problem will settle. So I will say, uh, I cannot confirm or I cannot give guarantee to you because uh, this skin problem, that there is many factors that uh, will affect the, our, our, uh, our treatment. So some patients also request, they doesn't want the injection. So I will tell the benefit uh, just uh, using the cream, skincare, and also only facial compared to they use the injection such as the Masang E. Uh, first, we have to consider their budget first. Lah. Uh, if they have budget, I will uh, suggest for the Masang E. I will tell her that uh, you already go many spa, many uh, clinic before, so you know the prognosis. Uh, it means uh, the melasma is poor prognosis. You can try many, many treatment, uh, but we cannot guarantee the, the result. Lah. Uh, because of, uh, I have many testimonies, so I show lah them they, they, my testimony. After they use this demo sign E, they, they, they have this result. So sometimes they, they will consider the injection. Uh, so maybe in your uh, setting, you can, uh, uh, of course, you have your testimony. Lah. So sometimes they also takut of the needle, then they also can consider because we, uh, they see the result. Lah. Um. Okay, yeah. Yes, it's already Sorry, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Dr. Siti, for your very enriching session. Um, may I ask if I see the cases you are using Dermasign E plus and facial only? For those that is just combination with facial, how do you decide two weekly or monthly? Oh, okay. And then uh, another part is, if you are going to prescribe Trilema cream or some intensive pigment corrector, because E plus uh, manual injection is slightly stinging intradermally. So do you have to do you withhold a few days before you prescribe the before they resume their Trilema cream? And sorry, the last session. Recently, I tried E plus on a, almost a full face, a new patient, um, full blown melasma, uh, male patient. So, any advice or any difference in treating male melasma? Thank you. Okay, for facial combination with facial without the cream. Okay, you can see my testimony here. This patient, the melasma color is not so dark. It's just like macam puda sikit. And also have some freckles here. This I didn't prescribe the Triluma cream because in my experience, Triluma cream not work well in this case. For this patient, the melasma color is very dark, rough skin, and almost like much a well defined melasma. The the border. So this kind of uh, melasma, usually I prescribe the Taliwa cream. Uh, from my experience, lah, I also doesn't know why. <laughs> because I practice this uh, aesthetic from 10 years. And I have my own, my own experience lah, to treat this melasma. Uh, so this kind of melasma, usually I prescribe Taliwa cream and it's work. Uh, to apply the Taliwa, 
Uh, after today injection, I advise them to apply tomorrow, after 24 hours lah, to reduce the apa tu injection mark. Uh, or if she apply on that night, uh, it will painful because of the injection mark. And for the melasma for male, it's poor prognosis compared to female because they are left lifestyle. Usually, uh, melasma in male occur because of uh, direct sun exposure, continuously uh, direct sun exposure. So you will ask patient or advise patient to um, stay inside if you want your melasma to treat, or you stay outside then melas you, we cannot treat your melasma because. Uh, we can tell the patient uh, if you continue sun exposure, the melasma cannot be treated uh, because the sun that actually um, apa tu make the melasma worsen. So for the male patient, I give that choice. <laughs> if they say uh, they cannot do that, so I, I don't want to treat your melasma because it will recur or not respond to the treatment. Uh, because usually male patient they, they doesn't use the bleaching agent lah. Uh, nak suruh pakai um, apa tu sunblock sunblock also difficult. <laughs> okay. Yeah, true. <laughs> yes, another question. Hi, assalamualaikum. Uh, thank you, Dr. Siti, for the uh, very uh, good uh, sharing uh, session. I think I have a question. I I've always had problem with uh, pain management for the patients. So for this one, I'm actually uh, so impressed. What, what, what management? Pain, pain, management. Oh, pain management. So I'm impressed when you did this uh, dermal E sign on your patient just now. So she looked comfortable and, and pretty relaxed. So I wonder what's your uh, protocol in terms of the pain? Like for example, because I've used the numb cream as well for about almost one hour, but then the pain is still there, especially with the dermal E sign plus. So. Is it really the pain score? Is it zero or one? Or is it really, how is the pain uh, management around there? What's actually the patient's experience in terms, of, in terms of the pain? So if you have any tips uh, that can actually help to minimize the pain, that will be very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I also the, apply the numb cream for 40 minutes. If patient said, uh, I cannot tolerate to the pain, I advise them to apply for one hour. For my experience, lah, I also sometimes apply my numb cream for my face for one hour. I think lesser pain compared, I apply just for 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Uh, uh, other than that, during the consultation, <laughs> we tell patient, this treatment is uh, a little bit painful because it contains of transdermic acid and we cycle back the, uh, that you need this treatment to cure your melasma. So patient say, oh, okay lah, hadap lah, uh, something like that. Uh, during the um, during the injection also, I sometimes uh, use the ice pack. Uh, apply the ice pack, then we inject. Or sometimes disruption lah, just uh, the beautician tap tap the forehead. Mm. Uh. Any more question? No. Thank you. Once again, thank you, Dr. Siti. Thank you very much. Thank you. So if next time want to distract them for the pain uh, management, you can hire me to go and sing them a song. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you once again. Thank you. So next, uh, we have Dr. Leon Mo Ying, LCP license holder, MBBS at Menopal uh, University, AAM Diploma, USA, and the medical director of B & Co Clinic. Let's welcome Dr. Leon for her sharing. Good afternoon. Uh, sorry. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you, uh, Dr. Siti Maria, for your sharing. Very uh, wonderful sharing. Uh, okay. Actually, I feel a little bit cold and nervous. <laughs> Hopefully, I can uh, give. Uh, luckily, my presentation is quite short. It's uh, only I'm going to share two cases today. Okay. Um, this is my just now. The picture is my clinic. The first case I'm going to share is actually a 38-year-old lady presented to me with uh, mild pigmentation problem, dry skin, and uneven skin tone. 
So far, I have only done two sessions of diamond field skin for her, and I could see the improvement. Okay, so from the 2D picture, uh, we can't really appreciate much of the improvement. However, on bare eye, uh, I can actually see her skin is uh, very much smoother, brighter, and also supple. Under, under the skin analysis, right, uh, we can actually appreciate the brown spot and pigmentation is uh, improved, already lightened. And we could also see the redness is very much reduced. Okay, so uh, my case number two is a mixed melasma case. She's uh, around roughly 50-year-old lady, also with uh, dull skin tone and some skin laxity. And I have uh, combined laser with the diamond field skin treatment for her. So far, I did uh, first session, I started her with diamond field skin, a mixture of Dermacyne E plus with diamond field for tear. And then uh, two weeks later, only I start her with laser. And uh, about a month later, she come back, um, I'll do the diamond field skin treatment for her. And her third session, uh, I just did a few days ago. So the picture I'm going to show you is a roughly two sessions of diamond field skin treatment. Okay, so this is her uh, right side uh, face. We could see she has a mixed type of melasma, uh, dermal epidermal melasma. After the laser and treatment, her uh, pigment is so much lighter. You can see the brown spot um, is getting scattered. And the redness around the pigment also become lighter. Okay, and this is her left-sided face. Uh, we can see the skin complexion, the pigment also so much lighter after the treatment. Okay, and here, brown spot also re reduce a lot. And redness as well. Sensitivity of the skin actually so much calmer after the treatment. So uh, my experience of using this uh, diamond field skin, right? Actually, I find it uh, very comfortable for patient point of view. Usually, uh, my previous experience of using the um, the PDRN or PN, patient complains um, intense pain, uh, pain score around eight, seven, eight. Even some uh, they will have tearing while injection. Uh, whereas for diamond field skin injection, actually, I always ask their pain score is around 2 to 3. It's very comfortable. And um, and uh, a lot of time, um, I uh, like what uh, Dr. City say, we, uh, to reduce their um, pain, right? Actually, we can uh, try to talk to them, distract them while during the procedure. Uh, a lot of time they feel when they are psychologically less tense, the pain also will be less. We can even provide a stretch ball to them. Uh, they can squeeze it or even a pillow to hug it. And my beautician sometimes will just talk to them, chat with them. So they will feel actually uh, the procedure is very comfortable for diamond field skin. And uh, I always like to inject um, multiple black uh, all over the face and sometimes for those who are more like uh, afraid of pain then I will use the 10 point injection all over each face uh, and I realized um, patient who compliance to two weekly interval protocol I can see a better result for those who uh, come back uh, a month later or they don't apply because I have a lot of patients, they malas to apply skincare one. They depend on my injection to help to improve their skin complexion. 
but uh, the result is not good if they cannot pay their uh, role of taking care of their skin care. So um, I always have to like uh, educate and re-educate them whenever they come back. Okay, so um, the downtime is very short, like uh, Dr. Steve sharing, the downtime is very short, uh, swelling only a few hours only. Okay. So um, that's my sharing today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Leong. Any questions? Maybe we, we can see any questions from the floor. No? So maybe uh, I have a question for Dr. Leong. Yeah, sure. So for talking about skin texture improvement, so a lot of people will relate to skin boosters or laser. So what would you suggest them if they have this kind of like skin concerns problems? Uh, usually, I will look at their age group first. Mm. Let's say they are still young, about uh, 20 plus, 30, then their skin complexion, not much of problem. Then I advise them to go for um, diamond fuel skin. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And if, let's say, um, if their skin has problem, then I will advise them to always combine injectable um, skin booster with uh, laser or mm. any other treatment that available in my clinic. Okay, so normally you will do it uh, individually for the uh, maybe thermocyte E plus or with together with the laser. Okay, uh, if let's say patient already try, um, let's say, okay, if patient is very scared of pain, mm. Just uh, like me. <laughs> <laughs> so in the beginning, uh, of course, during consultation, I always tell them, just like what Dr. City do, I mm. tell them, this is the result we can achieve if we combine uh, oral, topical, injectable laser. Mm. Especially if melasma case, mm. we have to always combine of therapy. Mm. If, let's say, you cannot accept injectable, it's okay. We can start with other treatment modality first. Let's say uh, just um, machine, mm -hmm. laser, or uh, topical. Even oral supplement, if they cannot accept oral medication, mm. we can give oral supplement of controlling the pigmentation. Uh, if patients are okay with injectable, then go for both. Mm. Yes. Okay. So, any more question? No. Okay, once again, thank you, Dr. Leong. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Yeah. I do believe a lot of uh, patients will, just like me, scared of pain. So if in the future they really have uh, some patient that who is scared of uh, pain, you can play them a song by Rihanna, Diamond. So <laughs> when you are injecting the, the more sign E+, plus, okay? So next, we have um, Dr. Nazira Abdullah who owns a MBBS, AAM, MAC certificate, also the founder and the medical director of Infinity Clinic. So let's welcome uh, Doctor for her lecture. Thank you so much. Okay, hi everyone, good morning. I'm Dr. Nats from Infinity Clinic. Okay, um, I start using Diamond Skin early November this year. So these are the indications I offer to patients for those who are having acne, hyperpigmentation, enlarged pores, dry sensitive skin, fine lines and also wrinkles. Okay, my injection technique is actually similar to Dr. Steve. So after the 10-point injections, the balance, I will inject to the targeted area. Okay, I have uh, six cases to share with you all today. All right, so this is the first case. Uh, this patient presented with melasma. PIH and also acne. I did um, the first session. I did dermal sign E plus because I want to target the melasma first. And then after two weeks, I did dermal sign E plus. I combined with pico melasma to accelerate the process. 
All right, so this is after two sessions. You can see the melasma is improved. There is no more new acne and also the PIH also improved. Sorry for the poor quality of the photo. The melasma also improved on the right side and also the PIH. So, as for the second case, um, her nature of work, she has to put on makeup every day. So, she has this on and off acne. As you can see, she has PIH acne over the, especially the mask area. Um, I just did one session of Diamond Field Forte alone. And this is the result after one session. You can see the PIH marks gone. There is no more new acne. And the one, I think the skin tone is one tone brighter. Okay, on the right side. So this is the usual side. She's having acne. Okay, the third case, uh, also melasma, because 60 to 70% of the patients came to my clinic, they are presented with hyperpigmentation, especially melasma. Okay, for her, I did dermal sign E plus um, alone, and after two weeks, I did another session of dermal E sign. Okay. Uh, after two sessions, I can see the melasma a bit lighter on the left and right cheek. And the skin tone is more even. Okay. So this, uh, her right cheek, the melasma is markedly improved. For her, I plan to continue... Uh, to do Diamond E+, plus, another one session, and one more session I will do Diamond Feel Forte because she's also concerned of her enlarged pores. Okay, fourth case, also melasma uh, and also enlarged pores, but here you can't see really well, uh, clear. For her, I did um, yeah, dermal sign E+, plus to target her melasma. And after two weeks, um, I combined diamond fill forte and I do pico melasma. I do laser first and then I do the diamond fill forte. So for the third session, I will go back to diamond E sign to, to target the melasma. And also the fourth session, I will do the dimer, uh, dermal sign E+. Plus. Okay, so it's the left side, uh, I think the, the melasma is much brighter. Uh, on the right side also. Okay, fifth case, um, this patient, she has on and off acne on the forehead and also jawline area, PIH as well. Uh, I did diamond fill forte because I want to reduce the inflammation. And after two weeks, I did diamond fill forte uh, with pico whitening because even after one session, the acne is gone. So left with PIH. That's why the second session, I combined with white, pico whitening. Okay, this is after two sessions. So you see there is no more acne, no more PIH. Even the chin also no more new acne. All right. So this is the common area she's having acne also. Uh, no more. Okay, the last case. Um, actually, she's getting married end of this month. She, her concern is small and large pores, lines, and also dry skin, a little bit of dullness. Um, I did diamond fill forte, and after two weeks, I did another session. 
but I think from this picture you can't really see. Um, but she's very happy. The pores um, become lesser, become improved, and even the smiling lines also improve. The hydration, she can feel the hydration is increased, and uh, she thinks her skin is more glowing. All right, that's all from me. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Nets. So, any questions? No, everyone is uh, getting hungry, <laughs> waiting for the lunch time. Okay, so maybe uh, Dr. Ness can uh, share with us what is your top one uh, signature diamond field skin treatment in your clinic? Um, most of my patients, mm. 60 to 70 percent, they come with hyperpigmentation. Mm. So I do a lot of hyperpigmentation, especially melasma for. Mm. Uh, I offer them diamond uh, skin treatment. Okay, because of by looking on the doctor's uh, case study and uh, testimonial, a lot of patients is actually having the melasma problems. So is it because of uh, we are in Asian country or we are actually in Malaysia? So that's why we normally we have these problems. Yeah. When I go through their history, most of them are using local products, ah. which contain the mercury and also hydroquinone. Uh, and of course, they are not aware to put on sunscreen like religiously, regularly. Mm. They just put in the morning. Even inside the house also, they don't put sunscreen. Mm. So that is most two common reasons. Okay. Mm. So uh, by looking at uh, diamond field skin and also thermal side E plus can actually cure these problems. Yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nets. Thank you very much. Thank you.